Hello there. We're still in the AM here in the UK. Just like a, a typical council estate chat. I've got my sofa outside. And this is the way we're doing it, brothers and sisters. Um, kind of the old, old Jamaica ginger beer. The post person, oh yeah, has uh, just dropped off a parcel. And uh, I do believe this is from a friend of the channel. So we'll get into opening that. I re highly recommend actually putting a slice of lime in with your ginger beer. Gorgeous, I absolutely love it. I'd never drink Coca-Cola again as long as I live. Um, unless it was free, of course. <laughs> Let's get into this box then. Bloody hell, it was sent uh, 8.99. So thank you very much. I, I, I will uh, mention, we'll see if there's a note and stuff in here first. Oh my God. I don't know what it is. He just said he had some stuff. We've got some stickers here. Okay, so it's like Marvel stickers, I believe. So they're kind of cool. Nice. Um, let's get in here. Bloody hell, there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. Good God. There's some stuff in here. Jesus. All right, so I don't think there is a note. And I can tell you right off the bat, this is from the Ink Northerner, Paul. So, Paul, you, and he wouldn't take any money for this either. Um, so, Paul, when we do eventually meet up, you know, again, I've got quite a few meals to, to, uh, that I'd like to do for people or t take them out for something to eat you know russ is another one of course and definitely mate this is incredibly kind of you and i can 100 percent guarantee most of these i won't have seen oh my god all right so it's wrestling stuff from what i can see no way out 2004 look at that eddie guerrero and brock lesnar i've not seen this wow so i know paul's written these on his system's got a bit of a network Kind of thing going on he was dis uh, discussing with me before but i didn't know he'd give me all these this is incredibly kind of you a judgment day 2007 look at this oh my days i bet that's a great match rick flair versus carlito i've got a bit of graph to do this afternoon but when i get back i really want to watch this is fucking awesome by the way you didn't need to do this paul and i i, I sort of feel like indebted to people that it's, I wouldn't expect anybody to give me anything. Let me just say that. I really, really, really don't. This channel is for fun. It's to talk to like-minded people and lots of like-minded people occasionally about topics that we enjoy, films uh, and uh, TV shows and, of course, of course, wrestling, you know. But it's very kind. Um, all right. Hell in a Cell Vengeance 2005. Bloody hell. Okay. Seeing a Christian in Jericho. Sounds like a good one. Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle. Fucking hell, man. See, a lot of these are going into the 2000s, which we are covering. And um, more often than not, how dare you interrupt my flow with your noise? Something else, it might be for me. Um, John Cena experience. So that's, that's cool. So obviously, I think this is like a documentary about Cena. I'll get a lot of use out of these, to be honest with you, because my wrestling knowledge sort of begins and ends at, in the 80s and at the early 90s and a little bit around a sort of uh, mid-90s mid, mid 90s attitude era as well. I was watching that at university back then. But a bit, for the past few months, I've been watching a hell of a lot of wrestling and reading some books and things and getting pickups and everything. And of course, a WrestleTalk roundtable is back shortly, but because of the Euros, we might have to delay it a little bit. And we want to see how well uh, the old England do and everything. And all Spain. You know, we, 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 shall, we shall see. <laughs> Not sure where my loyalties lie these days. As a bit, being a hodgepodge of a few things. Um, this is No Way Out 2003, The Rock versus Hulk Hogan 2. The Stone Cold versus Eric Bischoff, I've seen that one. So these are all originals, really cool. And you don't see them often, another Silver Vision here. This is a Cyber Sunday. 
to excuse the vans, as I say. Um, we are getting a new sofa, that's why that's out here, really. I thought I'd make a very humorous joke about it. Look at the, look at the fucking big show there. Armageddon 2004. I mean, there's, again, uh, Rob Van Damme and Rey Mysterio versus uh, Rene Dupree and Kenzo Suzuki. I bet that's good. So there's, but what I might do is go, to, unless there's, they come up, which they probably will do, you know, in people's recommendations with the other guys and stuff. Um, Backlash, 2006, Triple Threat, Cena, Triple H and The Edge. Shawn Michaels versus Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon. I've seen that one. It was really good. <laughs> for, for a laugh. Again, it contains strong bloody violence. And I do like the 18 ones. Look at Vince there, man. He was all pumped up and all hench and that. <laughs> Quality. Especially at his age. What was he, about 60 then? No Mercy, 2007. So this is uh, a Batista kind of uh, era. Um, but I bet there's some good stuff. Again, already I can see one. Rey Mysterio versus Finlay, which I'd like to watch. So, once again, you know, we're delving into territory I don't know too much about. Another Batista one here, New Year's Revolution. I'm not the biggest Batista fan, but again, within all this, I know he was the sort of the, the breakout star back then. There's a lot of still really good matches. So, um, like here, World Tag Team title match. Will Regal and Eugene versus Christian and Tyson Tomko. And then you've got um, Mohammed Hassan versus Jerry the King Lawler. Again, that's something I really want to watch. 2005 in Puerto Rico. And things get dark in Puerto Rico, don't they? Um, Vengeance 2007, Night of Champions. Bloody hell, look at that. Edge versus Batista. I think I bet that's good. Championship Challenge Cena, Bob Lashley versus Foley. Randy Orton and uh, Booker T. I bet that's good. So here we're introducing some of the more newer guys, uh, Johnny Nitro and CM Punk. You know, it, it, there's a certain sort of era I cut off, but there's always going to be someone within the uh, mainstay of the WWE and uh, uh, wrestling that, that I kind of gravitate towards. But again, I've got a lot of learning to do. This is a lot of stuff that I'm not overly familiar with but of course you've got some of the legends who still appear so it would be a nice crossover for me raw the best of 2010 i can see seamus there so yeah seamus is one of them i quite like you know with the irish connection and everything uh, more than 20 matches featuring d generation x so it's their comeback jericho of course i rate jericho highly randy orton uh, Shawn michaels emotional farewell so uh, Brett, the Hitman Hearts, stunning return to the WWE. So what was he, like a ref here or something? I can't I have a very vague recollection of that. Um, God, there's a lot here, man. Paul, this is too much, man. Judgment Day 2006. Rey Mysterio versus JBL. Kurt Angle versus Mark Henry. God, I bet that's good. Benoit first versus Finlay. Um... Yeah, Rey Mysterio. So, very interesting. Very interesting. The Great American Bash 2006. Again, another one I just haven't seen. Undertaker versus The Big Show with the Punjabi prison match. What the hell is that? <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay, like this is interesting. I've never seen Michelle McCool, which is The Undertaker's wife, wrestle. So, I'll have a look at that. And that's uh, Ashley versus Gillian versus Crystal. And then again, here we go, Finlay versus um, Will, Will Regal. So a uh, fit Finlay there, who was, you know, kind of getting on back then as well. SummerSlam 2006, which is one we have done. But I don't have this version. I bet you this is the uncut one. The I Quit match. Have we done this one? God, I'm not sure we have, actually. Hulk Hogan versus Randy Orton. Legend versus Legend Killer. No, have we? I can't bloody remember. <laughs> I don't know. 
yeah, very good. What else we got here then? Um, no Way Out 2006, Kurt Angle versus The Undertaker, Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton, Chris Benoit versus Booker T. Wow. And then, you know, this is where they're pushing Batista as well. Special appearance by Batista. Uh, Unforgiven 2006. You've got Cena on the front there. So this is a 15. Includes uh, exclusive unedited DX footage. So on their comeback. Uh, Lisa versus Trish Strauss. I bet that's entertaining. Uh, Johnny Nitro versus Jeff Hardy. So during the, his solo career um and a to is it a yeah uh edge versus john cena so of course he had lita with him back then wow well, okay another word life so this is going to be around where john cena was doing his rapping and stuff so this is a documentary his memorable battle raps against kurt angle in the big show and he's a special freestyle for the troops in Baghdad. Wow. Some of his most controversial material is now seen and heard unedited for the first time ever. Word. Uh, I'll have to have a look at that. I'm uh, partial to a bit of MC myself, if anybody follows the Instagram. I'll have to do a delete one or two of them because, I'll, you know, when, when I put them up, I wasn't quite sure what I was saying. You know, things have changed a lot since 20 years plus ago. And, you know, even the... Uh, around this era, 2005, 2006, when I was doing a lot of that stuff, and uh, I was, I was thinking, oh dear, I've said a few things here that just <laughs> they wouldn't wash anymore. But it's bravado, all right. Um, no sort of harm intended. The elimination chapter, New Year's Revolution, 2006. Ten tons of steel, two miles of chain. Paul, let me know in the comments, mate, which ones are these to. To have a look at which particular matches, there's so much here. John Cena versus Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels versus Chris Masters versus Carlito versus Kane. Wow. Ric Flair versus Edge. You see, this is, I'm so interested in Ric Flair's comeback around this time when, you know, he was, he was certainly getting on, you know, in his late 50s and doing all sorts of, he was showing his worth. And uh, that really intrigues me, really intrigues me so much here. This is incredible, man. No Way Out 2005. I hope I don't run out of battery here. Um, Booker T, JBL versus The Big Show. Wow. So this is when wrestling was still really good. Look at JBL there. It's on the cover. This intrigues me massively, live in the UK. Bloody hell, Paul. So this has got, this is ECW, the three biggest brands, sports entertainment, took over Birmingham, England for the first time ever on DVD. I might have remembered seeing posters of this. But of course, I wasn't watching wrestling then. What a, what a fucking shame, I missed that. Wish I could go back in time and, uh, you know, go to the, the uh, NXC and watch some of these things. I will do, I will do when we're allowed to, you know, even if it's half capacity, I do intend to go and see some, certainly some independent wrestling. Again, any ideas in the uh, in the chat there, maybe even go to Blackpool and watch some stuff. Perhaps that could go in with uh, the Blackpool um, meetup. There might be some wrestling on, that might be interesting. Night of Champions 2008, okay. So again, some decent matches. Uh, okay, so Kofi Kingston, that's interesting. So he was around then in 2008 versus Chris Jericho. And of course, Kofi now is, is like a megastar. Then Triple H versus John Cena. I bet that's interesting. We've got two copies of that one. So it's another one of them. If anybody needs that, let me know and I'll uh, send it to them. I think that's another... Have I got two of these? Yes, I have. And another one of these ones. So again, New Year's re resolution. Anybody needs that, I'll send that to them. Um... Armageddon 2007, again here, we're, we're pushing Batista. Not that I know too much about this, but uh, one match I'd love to see is Triple H versus Jeff Hardy. Um, again, Sam Punk's kicking around at this kind of time. Another one that might interest me would be uh, MVP versus Rey Mysterio. So a few things, a few things there. Yeah, good stuff. 
I've got a single disc here. This is WrestleMania 20, I think. Disc one. Found that blinking tastic. Night of Champions 2009. Yeah, so uh, Randy Orton, Triple H, Cena. I bet that's good. CM Punk versus Hardy. Have we got on? I'm not sure if I've got a double of that either. I have to watch it back. But again, if anybody needs that, um, you're, you're welcome to it. Cyber Sunday 2007. Batista versus The Undertaker. CM Punk versus The Miz. Here we're getting into this kind of mid 2000s territory but you still have Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton and this uh, I've seen this one actually the special guest referee Stone Cold Batista versus The Undertaker yeah nice to have it on DVD you know as, as it should have been as it was broadcast kind of thing Unforgiven 2007 Undertaker versus Mark Henry again um, Triple Threat The Great Carly versus uh, Rey Mysterio versus Batista brilliant uh, this is TNA so this is something that I, I'm trying to learn a, a lot more about now I believe this is an American one yeah MA restricted strong sporting violence final resolution so Kurt Angle versus Christian Cage um, bloody hell TNA world championship uh, tag team AJ Styles and Tomko versus Samoa Joe and Kevin Nash I bet that's good all sorts, all sorts, so much wrestling here. It's, it's incredible, man. I'm gonna, you know, once the Euros are done, um, I'll be putting a lot of these on in the background. Uh, Best of Raw and SmackDown. Chris Benoit versus Booker T in 2005. Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero. I've seen this one. Okay, so there's just some great, great matches. Chuck. And Billy versus Hulk Hogan in the Edge, 2002. Oh, wow. <laughs> Entertainment galore on here. Uh, yeah, Benoit and Eddie Guerrero versus The Rock in the Edge, 2002. Very good stuff. Very, very kind of you, this, Paul. No Mercy, 2006. Um, okay. King Booker, he was called then, versus Bobby Lashley versus Batista versus Dave Finlay. Amazing. Um, Matt Hardy. So some really hardcore sort of hard hitting stuff back then, which I've only seen glimpses of. 2007 Night of Champions. Okay, so I believe this is another duplicate. So I'll keep my eye on them and I'll, I'll perhaps put them on Instagram, you know, the duplicates. Uh, all right, so this is Taboo Tuesday, 2005. This is where things got a bit racy back in the day. <laughs> Cena versus Angle versus Shawn Michaels. Flair versus Triple H. Okay, so really, this is the, the, the fun stuff. Fulfill your fantasy battle royal for the women's championships. This is, would you get away with this today? I doubt, I doubt it, you know. It's not politically incorrect, but my God, I'll, I'll enjoy it. <laughs> it has an audience. Um... Another SummerSlam 2006. Fantastic. And um, a few more left there. Another live in the UK. But this one's from November 2008. God, I wish I'd gone to this. Regal versus um, Santino Morella. Bet that's good. Last Man Standing, always like them. Shawn Michaels and Jericho. And Mickey James, naughty Mickey James there versus Beth Phoenix. I bet that's entertaining. Mysterio versus Kane. God, yeah, that's uh, the UK stuff really intrigues me. Unforgiven 2005, Cena versus Angle. I'm not sure I've ever seen that one. So, Unforgiven 2005, I bet that's good, isn't it? Um, Carlito versus Ric Flair. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Masters. Yeah, Oklahoma City. Very good. And here we go. We have the Great American Bash 2006. So, the, yeah, I believe that's another a duplicate. So, I'll go over these. And, and, and the duplicates, I'll. Uh, so, oh, there's disc two. Perfect. For WrestleMania 20. Survivor Series 2007. 
Blimey, okay, so Hell in a Cell, Batista versus Undertaker. Was that a good one? I'll certainly give that a go. Um, wow. And another Cyber Sunday 2007. So I think I've got a few duplicates in there, which I'm more than happy to, to give to whoever who hasn't got them. I'll send them, them over to you. And um, Paul, this is incredibly kind of you, man. And I will cherish these in my wrestling collection, which is ever expanding now. And I, I love the fact that I'm, I've got stuff from, you know, going back from the eight to the eighties, even a little bit before I've got a few bits and bobs from the world of sport, but that's a, a, a different story for a different day to the nineties, uh, of course. And, and then now to the two thousands, so you saved me an absolute bloody packet. So whenever we do meet up at some point, mate, uh, I've got to repay the favour somehow because it's uh, incredibly kind and to pay, you know, a tenner to send it as well. You didn't have to do that. And of course, it's very much appreciated, but never expected here in a VHS bootlegger. So get over to the Ink Northerner and check him out. He does appear on the channel for quite frequently. We'll be doing more action reviews and sort of summaries and film stars things like that moving forward but he's also an enormous wrestling fan and uh thank you so much for these i will watch them all take it easy youtube and i'll speak to you soon you tuned in to the vhs boot